Hi, I'm Roy from Roy's Garage. Today I'm going to be working on a 2003 Toyota Highlander. The passenger front power window, when I, when I operate the switch up or down, it barely moves. So that's an indication of the motor is bad. So I'm going to show you how to replace the motor. These are the tools I'm going to be using today to do this job. Some super white grease, an acid brush, ball peen hammer, quarter inch ratchet, another quarter inch ratchet, quarter inch extension, 10 millimeter socket, door panel remover, another door panel remover, Phillips screwdriver. This is a T25 Torx with an impact screwdriver small screwdriver some spray of penetrating grease heavy-duty silicone and dielectric grease this is the part I'm going to be using today to do this job this is a passenger front right front power window motor okay first I'm going to be removing this panel there's a clip on this side, you got to kind of push in and pop it up. Disconnect the electrical connectors. Popping this cover. Removing this Phillips screw. Removing this plastic piece. There's these little tabs you gotta kinda pry it up. Removing this plastic piece. Moving this screw. So now we're going to pry out the door panel. And just pull it out. So this guy, this retainer, just push this thing in and pry it out. Let's pry out this plastic piece. Now lift up the panel. Disconnect this courtesy light. Removing the speaker. So removing this plastic shield. So we're going to have to lower the window, we're going to have to connect the switch, turn the key to the on position, and we're going to have to lower this window. Okay, so now we can get access to these two bolts. Removing these two bolts. So we can remove the glass. So I'm going to be removing this electrical connector that goes to the power window motor. Removing these one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. That's the, that's for the regulator. This one, don't, don't remove it all the way. Removing the regulator. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna be loosening these three bolts using my impact screwdriver. So this guy doesn't have a spring. So you don't have to worry about when you take off this motor, this thing is gonna, you know, move. So you don't have to worry. Greasing up my regulator before we put it in. Just grease up these tracks. Put some grease on this gear. If you notice, there's these marks over here. That's from the factory. So what you want to do is just line these marks up and then put the motor on. And bolt it up. So I'm going to be tightening up these screws. So I'm going to be shooting some of this penetrating grease right into this joint. So I'm going to be installing the regulator. On this channel, you could actually go either way. But the way this thing came off, this slot goes on this hole. Tightening the regulator. So we, before we put the glass in, I'm going to be lubricating my track with some silicone spray. Just load it up. Putting on my glass. Bolting up the glass to the window regulator. Gonna be collecting my electrical connector to the power window motor, but first I'm gonna put on some dielectric grease. Connect it to my motor. So now we're gonna see if this thing works. Good. Okay, so now we're going to be putting down this plastic shield. Putting on my speaker. So these screws don't make it too tight because it's just screwed into nylon, nylon nuts. Connecting my wire, my speaker wire. Connecting my courtesy light. Putting back my panel. I just pop the panel back in. Putting in this retainer. Putting this Phillips screw back in. Putting this cover on. Putting this screw on, popping this guy in, putting on my switch, put some dielectric grease on my connectors, connecting my switch, okay, slide this guy in, 
and snap it down putting this piece on okay and you're good to go so that's how you replace a power window motor if you have any questions comment below make sure to subscribe give me a thumbs up and i see you in the next video aloha